Today we are going to assemble the most simple anti-theft alarm. Using this you can protect your doors, gates, windows, car shed, wardrobes, almiras, etc. There are only three components for this circuit. A BC547 transistor, a 10K resistor and a 3 volt buzzer. All things are cheaply available in the local market. This circuit has a wide range of input voltage. It will work from 3 volts to 24 volts. A single alkaline 9 volt battery will last for more than one year. Here I am using a moving coil buzzer for the sounding purpose. I do not have a piezo buzzer with me right now. That is why I am using this buzzer which is used in automobiles. This moving coil buzzer as well as piezo buzzers are having polarities for input supply. So please be careful while connecting this to, your, to the circuit. For assembling this circuit you don't require a PCB for it because this circuit contains only three components. All can be connected to the component leads itself. Pack this inside a plastic box with the battery and then only the sensor leads need to be connected at outside. For sensing we are using this 39 SWG or standard wire gauge copper wire. You can make use of any copper wire which is having higher than 39 gauge. The more the gauge number the thin the diameter of the wire. You can even use a single strand of wire from a flexible wire or a ribbon wire etc. Why I am recommending very thin copper wire is because see for example we are protecting our car shed then the thin wire should be long enough to tie from one end of the car shed to the other end. Using copper wire it will be pretty easy to do that. You will get thin copper wire from the transformer which is used in the power supply of LED bulb or LED tubes. Thin wires are even difficult to find out even at daytime. So thieves do not even think about this one. They will be thinking about infrared theft alarms and CCTV motion detection theft alarms. This is a lithium ion rechargeable 9 volt battery that I built from an existing old battery. The video I have already uploaded to my channel. I will add the link in the description so that those who haven't seen it can watch it from there. This is the type C port which is used for recharging the battery. I recommend to use a 9 volt alkaline battery for this purpose. In the circuit diagram I have added an on off switch but for the testing purpose I am, I am not using the switch. See we have powered the circuit but still the buzzer is not sounding because the wire is connected. I am just uh, removing the protective sticker from the buzzer otherwise the buzzing sound will be very less. Now everything is working fine. The circuit is up and running now. This is the full schematic of the anti-theft alarm. You can see the base of the BC547 transistor is given to the positive supply through 10K resistor. So basically this transistor should switch on and the buzzer should, should sound. But why it is not happening? Because the base is connected through to the negative supply through the thin wire that is why the bc 547s base to emitter junction is now in in reverse biased or zero biased when the thin wire breaks then the base to emitter junction becomes forward biased and the buzzer will sounds so now for testing i am going to cut the thin wire using my scissors so listen carefully This will sound until you disconnect the power supply or switch off the power supply. If you believe that this circuit was helpful then please click like button and also share this to your friends. Please subscribe to my channel for getting more videos like this. That will be an encouragement to me for making more things like this to you. This is Tech Insert signing off. See you in another video. Till then, goodbye and please take care.